Welcome to Second Extinction, a brand new early access like dinosaur first person shooting game. It's a pretty cool game and I thought I would give you a few tips on the research points because they are incredibly important in this game. I've recently just done like a three and a half hour live stream. We've pretty much played everything there is to play. There's literally two missions left for us to do. I do have two other videos coming for this game. Basically a big ass boss fight, which was quite cool. And then I'll be reviewing the game in its entirety and what I think of it during the early access sort of phase as soon as it's launched for the public to play. But these research points, they are very, very important to you as a player because when you are trying different characters, you're using different weapons, you can upgrade the weapons. They all have their own sort of upgrade paths and you can do things like impact, handling, stability. I was using the minigun. And these research points are used to purchase unlock tokens. They are used to actually purchase the upgrades and then apply the token to basically equip that upgrade. And they are also used to unlock a machine gun or an LMG that you would unlock. If I remember correctly, it was level five. So basically you go into the missions and that LMG is very expensive by the way. It's 1800 research points so that you can just unlock it and play with it. Then you've obviously got to unlock all the tokens and the upgrades and stuff. So it's going to cost you quite a bit. So basically when you are going into missions, you are going to be playing in several different regions. You're going to explore the entire place if you want to. What I would recommend doing is looking for the drones as they will point out points of interest. So you shoot, you take down a drone and then you go over to it, you interact with it and it's going to pop up loads of different things within that region. Things like camps that you can take down, supply containers that you can boost off and you get research points for all the little activities. So make sure you are taking on like all of the activities you'll find through points of interest which are unlocked or explored and discovered by shooting down the drones and interacting with those. They won't award a lot of research points, but it all adds up. The fastest way to actually get hold of research points is to kill dinos. Every single dinosaur you kill will award research points. I'm pretty sure the bigger guys will give you more research points, but say you get five for taking down what I call a trike, it's kind of like a, a horned sort of dinosaur. It, it looks like a trike to me. But taking down one of those, say it gives you five research points, all you have to do is take down five raptors, and that's the equivalent. So make sure when you're in missions, you're exploring, you're taking down optional objectives, you're killing as many dinosaurs as you possibly can. If there's a hive that pops up, you might not want to destroy it straight away. You might want to try and farm the spawns of, like, the waves of dinos that come out of them. I don't know the exact amount you need for each of the star ratings, but also, when you do get a higher star rating in a mission, it will give you better rewards at the end. You're basically picking up parts of these dinosaurs, that is your loot, and you also use those to upgrade your weapons as well. When we got to 1600 research points for a mission, it gave us 4 stars, and I thought 2000 might be 5 star, but it didn't pop up saying we had a 5 star quality, like rating, until we got to the end of the mission, it popped up that we actually did get 5 stars. So I think 2000 research points is for a 5 star rating on a mission, and you're going to get much better loot rewards from the like reward crates you get at the end of missions. So make sure you are farming them, take out the dinos, optional objectives, pretty much everything you do that counts as an objective or a kill will award some research points. And you can just roam around, go to all the different regions in one mission, and you can just get lots and lots of research points. But do be careful, every time one of the players in the game goes down, you will lose research points. There was one stage when we were getting close to 2,000, Con went down, and we lost 60. So it's not a major setback, but it is going to make it take a little bit longer to build up that rating again, and just keep getting the research points. So be wary, do everything that I've mentioned in the video, and you'll be on your way to getting all of the upgrades, and you'll be able to max your characters out. It'll make your time in the game a lot easier. On that note, we're going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about it in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.